Hi guys, welcome back to Vitaly Style. Today I'm doing a makeup tutorial on this look, which I think is a really beautiful yet wearable, corally, peachy, orangey look. I wanted to incorporate some more orangey, you know, coral colors because we are in spring and the warmer months are amongst us, but I, you know me, I need, it needs to be wearable. I can't do anything too crazy because I am planning to be on public and things like that. I just, I'm not the kind of person that's going to go crazy, crazy wild when it comes to eyeshadow. I'll play up the lips quite a bit, but not eyeshadow. So this is what I've come up with. It's really simple on the eyes, nothing crazy, a really beautiful peachy lip, and then like a corally bronzy kind of cheek. So um, as always, I have my eyebrows already done, but you know, that takes me forever. That's why I try to always do it ahead of time. Um, but yeah, it's easy, easy, easy. If I can do it, you know anybody can do it. So if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep watching. Okie dokie. The first thing I'm going to do is prime my eyes using my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I always think that um, it just helps everything else kind of hold together and stay in place. Even though I'm going to use my one of my Laura Mercier Eye Basics on top of it, I find that my Laura Mercier Eye Basics tends to crease a little bit without putting a primer underneath of it, which is why I always prime my eyelids no matter what um, cream shadow or whatnot, I'm gonna put it over top of it. This is the Eye Basics in the color Wheat. And I am, I probably could use, let me see. No, let me use linen, hold on. What is this? Yep, yeah, I'm gonna use linen because linen is a bit lighter and therefore it will really make the cream, like that light shadow really pop. So I'm gonna put that all over the eye. And then I'm going to blend this out using the Sonia Kashuk, it's like a little dome kind of brush like this. It's really good to blend out cream shadows and um, any cream products, I would say. I don't really use this for anything else other than blending out cream shadows. And then I just like to take a nice fluffy brush, and this is the Sigma Tapered Blending E40. And then just buff out the very edges just to make sure that you have everything blended out. And this eye look is so easy, effortless, um, not a whole lot going on. I'll show you. And I'm using a Makeup Geek Shadows and I'll pull them up to show you each one. I'm going to go in with Beaches and Cream in the same fluffy shadow brush. This is going to go all over the lid, really buffing it into the eyelid because I don't really want any color on my eyelid. I want a little pop of color, pop for me anyway, in the crease. I'm just going to buff that in. I'm just going to pull my eye tall just a little bit. And now I'm going to go in with the in the crease. The first color I'm using is Peach Smoothie. It's slightly darker than the Beaches and Cream. And I'm going to pop that into my crease and outer corner. And you can see Really, I'm going to blend back and forth and go back in there to really build up the intensity to how I want it. This isn't going to be super dark because the next color we're going to put in is going to be the pop of color. So we're just kind of trying to, I don't want to go with cream and then straight to orange. So I'm just going to blend this really, really well. And now I'm going with Makeup Geek's Chickadee, which is this gorgeous, really orange, color really but it's really really beautiful same brush I'm not gonna do anything different tap out the excess and I just kind of like tap and blend in I love 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 the shadow I feel like it is the most wearable orangey color I own it doesn't come off really neon and like BAM orange shadow in your face but it's really really pretty um, and I've even put this all over my lid one once and it looked really pretty as well Admittedly, something I wouldn't do on an everyday basis, but I liked it. So I'm just going to continue to intensify with that orange color. Intensify it to how I like it, and then blend, blend, blend. Really, you just want to make sure this is really well blended so that you have no harsh edges. It just looks like a flush of color onto your eyes. For my brown bone, I'm going to go in with another Makeup Geek color in Vanilla Bean. That's what it looks like. Just like a flat shadow brush. This is from Sonia Kashuk. I'm going to pop that under the brow bone. And now you can leave this like this if you want it to, but 
I'm gonna do some liquid liner, but I'm gonna do some brown liquid liner. Where's my... Da -da -da. That's not what I want. There it is. This is my L'Oreal liquid, uh, liquid. This is my L'Oreal lacquer cream liner in espresso. And I'm just going to use a Sigma small eye liner brush in E10, right? Yeah. And I'm just gonna do nothing too big because the whole point of this, I think, is that it looks really pretty and peachy and fresh and springy. So I'm just gonna do a small wing and I start at the edge. Small for me anyway. And then work my way in. Okay. So once you have your liner really how you want it, it could be bigger than this, thicker than this, you know, thinner than this, it's completely up to you. Um, and then the world is your pickle. You can go in with some more orange, which I'm going to do just a little tiny bit just to intensify things ever so lightly. Just love that pop of color, which to a lot of people, you might think, well, that's really not a whole lot. But, you know, I am not going to be one of the people on YouTube that's going to buy the electric palette from Urban Decay because I just don't wear those super, super bright colors. They have to be wearable. They have to be something that I feel comfortable with. Um, and this is definitely something that I feel comfortable with because it's still sort of colorful, but it's not too, too much. So... I'm going to zoom out and do the rest of the face. I'm going to go in with, oops, before I do anything else, my primer. The primer I'm using, this is a new one for me. This is a Foundation Primer Radiance by Laura Mercier. This is not the bronze one that I showed you guys before. This is the Radiance Bronze. This is just a Radiance. Um, that's what I'm going to use today. I just picked this up at Sephora, actually, yesterday. I was in New York City. And I had to return a few things, so I decided to go ahead and pick this up since it was in the, um, you know how at the checkout at Sephora, they've got like a line of little products there, like smaller size products. So I decided to pick this up and give it a try because I was recently uh, doing a shoot and the makeup artist used this for me on me, I should say. I really liked it. It's really good for dry skin. Okay. I don't know why I look, do I look orange to you guys? I'm not in real life, so. Anyway, going in with my Armani corrector in O2. Pop that right in there. And I'm gonna pat this in with my finger. Let's see. If I bring this closer, there you go. You guys mind if I look over here? Sorry if that mirror is in. For foundations, I'm going to mix these two together. This is the Revlon Age Defying Firming and Lifting Makeup in 30 Soft Beige. And this is my Revlon Color Study in 320 True Beige. This is way too dark and this is way too light for me right now. So I'm just going to mix the two on the back of my hands. I'm going to do like probably like a pump and a half of this one and then a half of this one. I'm going to start with just one pump of that one. See where we go from there. Let's blend this together. Let's see if that's a good enough of. Yes, perfect. Perfect. I might have to add some more. I'm not quite sure. But I'm going to just start with this for now. And then I have my beauty blender, which I'm going to pick up the rest that's in the back of my hand. And then I'm just going to pat this into the skin. And then down the jaw, you know, all those places. I'm going to go in with my concealer. I'm using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Let's see. Not too much because I don't want it to look too bright under the eye. And then I'm just going to blend it in with this side of my Beauty Blender. I love that. To, before I go into any powders, I'm just going to add a little bit of a lint illuminator to the top of my cheekbones. And you want to do all your cream products first and then put your powders. So I'm going to use my Lar, Lars, my NARS illuminator, the orgasm one. I'm going to pop a little bit of that on the back of my hand. Like so. Then tap it where I want it. It's so pretty. 
a little bit down the nose. And I'm gonna pat that in with the Beauty Blender. I hope you can see how pretty this is. I really, really like that. I do like the consistency of the Revlon uh, Photo Ready, this one. But this is just a little bit too pink and I don't have any other colors. I do want to pick up the bronze because I think the bronze is deeper than this one. I initially thought that I didn't need to pick up the bronze because the NARS one is kind of bronzier, um, but I do want something a little bit deeper. So I think I might pick that up and report back. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my powders. I'm gonna set my under eyes with my MAC Prep and Prime. This is a new one I picked. This is a new product picked up, I picked up recently. I didn't do a haul because I just picked up literally two products um, and I didn't think it was worth doing a haul for. But um, this is the Prep and Prime and Transparent. This is the finishing powder. I really have been liking this for setting my under eyes. So it's really, really light. I just use it with my Laura Geller brush, right? Yeah. I kind of like tap it and there's no sparkles but it does set the makeup which I really really like and then I'm gonna go in with my Physicians Formula Mineral Wear Talc Free Mineral Airbrushing Press Powder in the color beige with this big Sephora Powder, F, uh, powder 40 brush and then I'm just going to because I am going to be filming for Laura in the kitchen today I want to make sure that I get rid of any shine because it just gets so hot down there with all those bright lights I don't want to melt but I do also think that it helps the makeup last on a lot longer so there's that okie dokie for bronzer I'm going to use this Physis physician's formula the same one that came in that kit that mineral talc free bronzer and the only color I think it comes in is bronzer unless there's a bronzer, light and medium, this is the medium. And I'm gonna use this brush, which I love. This is the Powder Sephora 31 brush. I've really been liking this for, powder, for bronzer. And then just bronze the face. For blush, I'm using the Kardashian Beauty Radiant Ombre Blush in Sunlight Ombre, Sunlit Ombre. This is the more corally orangey one. And I'm gonna use this Makeup Forever brush with it. I'm gonna go in with the darker shade, the darker stars, I guess, and just pop that on the back of the cheek. It's very, this particular color is very light, but I don't know, for some reason I really liked it. And for just a little added glow, as if I'm not glowy enough, I'm gonna go in with this Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick in Apricot. I'm gonna use just these two colors right down here. And then right there on the cheekbone. Oh, I just love it. I love this. I'm not gonna put anything on my lower lashes, uh, under my lower lashes, just because, I don't know, I don't feel like I need it. Um, but I am going to set the face with my Urban Decay setting spray. <laughs> Don't inhale. And then just fan, fan, fan until it sets a little bit and dries a bit. I did just blot my lips with a makeup wipe because the um, foundation is on my lips. I'm gonna curl my lashes really quickly. I just feel like this gives you roll va va voom effect and you could wear falsies, but I don't really wear falsies on the regular. Um, but I'm gonna go with this Essence I Love Extreme Mascara. This really gives you like, vroom, lashes. So I don't even think you need to wear lashes if you're wearing this. I love this mascara, it's such an amazing mascara. That, it did dry up quite a bit, so I'm gonna have to pick up a new one. But for $2.99, I'll buy one every week. I mean, it's awesome. Okay, I like that. And then for lips, I'm gonna fill in my whole lip using the Palladio Lip Liner in Salmon. What else is new? And then I'm going to outline ever so slightly with the Palladio Lip Liner in Gingerbread. And then I'm gonna blend that gingerbread into the salmon because I don't want like a really strong, you know, outer. I don't want a really strong lip liner. I wish every lip liner felt it was this creamy. What do I do? 
And I'm gonna go in with Revlon Smoked Peach. Really, really pretty. And then you can leave it just like this, but I like to tone it down ever so lightly by going over it with a Revlon Primrose. And that is it. Let me zoom in so you can see the eyes. I love that. That I think is like the prettiest peachy lip, isn't it? Mm. You could do a gloss if you wanted to, but I'm not going to. I'm going to keep it matte because that's just what I prefer. So, this is what it looks like. It is so wearable, but it still gives you like some really pretty springy colors with the pop of coral, um, you know, orangey coral on the eyes, and then really corally bronze on the cheek, and then that really beautiful peachy lip, I think, just really rounds things off. So, that is what I have uh, for you today. I hope that you have enjoyed it. Please let me know down below what you want to see next, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.